Hi guys, Matthew here. In today's video, we'll be going through how to get this countdown timer using Final Cut Pro 10. And the good news is you don't need any plugins. Everything you need is right inside Final Cut Pro 10. Let's go. So we already have a custom solace that we'll be using on our timeline. It can be your video clip itself. Now go to generator inspector side under generator you search for element and the element you'll find your time code over there. Drag and drop on your video. Let's stretch this side to make exact length with a solid custom we have over there. And with the time code this is what it says. The first two digits is the hours, the second is the minutes, seconds and then the last two digits is the frames. And with this we just need the minutes and the seconds. We go to your generator inspector side over there. We take project off, we don't need that. Then you go to your background color, we don't also need that. So we take the opacity down to zero. So we just get it, the numbers out. Then also you can change the font over here to any font you want. And then the size will leave it over there. Now you can go to your center side, open that and then with the Y axis we can drag it up so we can get it to the middle. Let's bring the horizon line out so we can know exactly where the middle is. Yeah somewhere here will be okay. Now we can close that and take horizon off. So now we have the time code which looks like this. Let's see. The next step you go to your video inspector side, take the frames and the hours they get off and you can do that by using the left and then the right, click on this so we know exactly what we're doing. We will drag the right side till we clear the frames off. Let's make this big so we can see it clearly. Then we we'll do the same with the left side so we get the hours to they get off. So now we have the minutes and the seconds like this. It goes and it goes to 15 or 14 seconds on our timeline. So before I show you guys how to get these animated circles, if you're really enjoying this, don't forget to subscribe and also to like this video. It really, really keeps this channel going and I really appreciate that. Anyway, let's go back to the computer and show you guys how to get animated circles. So with that, you go to your generator inspector side. Under generators, you search for element, element, you choose shapes, you drag and drop on your timeline and then we'll drag this to the exact length with the time code now go to the inspector side under fill let's take it off and then drop shadow we don't really need that so we'll take that to zero two then with the outline color we can change that to white but you can use any color you want now make a duplicate of these shapes by clicking out and dragging upwards then click on the top one then go to outline width with that we can change that to 35 then go to your transition side under transition search for clock then drag and drop on the top one we don't need the ending one so we'll close that one too then you drag this side to the end of the clip so now you have something like this but it looks kind of blurry so we'll make it sharp we'll go to the edge treatment under edge treatment the border we can change it to two let's make it one one will be a little more sharp but as you can see the time code starts from zero to 14 we want it to go from 14 down to zero since it's a countdown so what we we'll do is we'll click on it but when you go here you cannot change it to reverse clip so this is the trick you do make a compound clip of it let's name it countdown then now we'll go back to this side and reverse the clip so as you can see the circle goes exactly with the time code and it ends exactly with it when it's zero so if you really learn something from this please and please and please once again don't forget to subscribe and also to like this video i also have some video for you guys down here you can check that out as always stay safe love you guys peace out